you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 17th second sunday in ordinary time let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 1 verses 35 to 42 The next day John again was standing with the two of his disciples and as he watched Jesus walk by he exclaimed look here is the lamb of god the two disciples heard him say this and they followed Jesus when Jesus turned and saw them following he said to them what are you looking for they said to him rabbi which translated means teacher where are you staying he said to them come and see they came and saw where he was staying and they remained with him that day it was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon one of the two who heard john speak and followed him was andrew simon peter's brother he first found his brother simon and said to him we have found the messiah which is translated anointed he brought simon to Jesus who looked at him and said you are Simon son of John you are to be called Kephas which is translated Peter the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends today's mass is about uh, occasion about calls god occasion is not just for a few chosen people not just for a few chosen people and to say there are no occasion now is simply to not true everyone is called by god to be something to do something for others with their life and with their unique gifts the first reading about the young man who did not recognize god's call first god called samuel and he thought it was his master eli twice god called twice samuel went to eli twice eli told him to go back to sleep The third time God called Eli, realized what was happening and told Samuel, the next time you hear the call, say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. When the Lord called the fourth time, Samuel was ready, ready to listen to God. Yes, God is calling me now, today. What he is saying to me, am I really listening? What are you looking for? Gospel is also about calling. In fact, about the second calling it is about the two men who are already disciples of John the Baptist John points Jesus out to them look there is a lamb of uh, god john knows that his role of uh, leadership is temporary that he is to yield to the leadership of Jesus the disciples begin out of curiosity to go after Jesus Jesus turns around and asks him asks them what do you want here jesus asks you that question today generally we tend to think that we should be asking what does god want but no he also wants to know what we want the answer to that question is less for his benefit than for us for ours our answer will tell us about what our real priorities are with regard both to god and the people the world around us what do we really want from life from god it is not such a easy question to answer it is easy to be superficial or flippant but it tells us where we really are and it is a question we will have to answer at different stages in our life as circumstances change come and see now jesus answered this question come and see knowing jesus and where he stays is not primarily a matter of intellectual knowledge it is not a matter of information it is not a question of knowing all theology dogmatic and moral nor is it a question of being an expert in all the teaching and the rules of the church pharisees of all times are good at that knowing jesus is a matter of experience one would know the new catechism of the catholic church all 700 pages of it by heart and still not know jesus 
to know him in the gospel sense is to seek find and respond to his loving presence in the fabric of our daily lives yes my dear friends it is important to know that peter in spite of his future important role was not called directly by jesus but through his brother and what happens again and again everyone includes the great saints were called by another often lesser person and brought to christ each one of us here was led to jesus by other people so in conclusion we ask ourselves first what is god calling me to do to be now today and am i in a truly listening mode to hear what he wants to say to me and second what is waiting for me to bring them to jesus who is waiting for me to bring them to jesus who is waiting for the invitation come and see amen may god bless us